Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see some tips for game developer who publishing a games in Google Play Store. So recently, Google Play Store have asked you asked you to submit your privacy policy for each application or game which you published in Play Store. Some of people haven't done that, so I'm going to help you how to do that. So this is the mail you got from Play Store. They are asking you to submit that URL for each game and apps. So you you need to submit before March 15th, or they will take necessary steps to stop your app or ga game. So I I'm going to help you how to make your privacy policy web page. So this is the place where you haven't submitted your privacy policy URL. So you need to go in Play Store and check store listing. From there you can find privacy policy URL not submitting a privacy URL at this time. Your app has an APK version code 1 requires the following permission. Android permission get accounts. Some people use get account system in manifest file. So they required you to submit your privacy policy suppose if you are taking their accounts you need to promise that they don't use for any other external purpose compare to compare only in gaming not any other external purpose like email address or something or maybe a phone number everything which you getting for your games related things so you need to promise them using a pri privacy policy url so this is the way you can see you can submit your privacy policy like this the web page should be and the web link should be after that you can uncheck and submit the privacy policy and then click on submit that's it you have you don't have any problem so i will share you some sample website you can make that privacy policy system so this is the free website you can use a privacy policy from here, this is a v one was Weebly and another one was blog Blogger and one other one was Wix. Or if you have own website, you can host your privacy policy as a separate web, web page. That's it. So you can have your own page. So you can either try these systems. So this is a sample description which which I which I may uh, written for you. You can use this sample description like this for your privacy policy web page uh, you don't want to try anything new uh, for example i show you there is some privacy policies submitted by some companies there is big so we don't need like this so we can make simple privacy policy system for example we i can show you class of clan If you see Clash of Clan app means from there you can see there is a thing called privacy policy. There you go. So if you see that they have a lot of privacy policy systems. So these are all necessary for not necessary for a small company or indie indie game developers. It is not necessary. So just use this description which I have given you it's available on the description of this video you can find that in my description and you can use for your own page and you can post that page in either it's weebly or blogger or wix which system you like to go you can go or if you have one website you can use like the supercell app so by this way you can post your own privacy policy url and we, I can also show one more website. Yeah. So these are the privacy policy page. It should be like this. So you can host with free websites which I mentioned. So 
this is that so you can uh, people using either corona or any unity or coco 2d or unreal engine or cry engine any engine which publishing android games people can use the same system and follow my steps and make your game live happy for a long life in play store so thank you thanks for watching please subscribe us if you think my video is very useful for you thank you